Hello, my name is Moe Zone, and welcome back to Rise of Flight and Pat Wilson's Campaign Generator with uh, Under Officer Manfred Rosenstock in OPS 6. Last time, one of our first couple missions, we managed to survive those first couple missions and join the ranks of the aces in the squadron, such as um, Richard, Richard Weinzel and Ulrich Nickel. I'm probably massively mispronouncing them. And again, that's part of my thing. I massively mispronounce names that are not in English. And even then, I sometimes mispr mispronounce English. Let's uh, find out what our combat thing is going to be. Patrol airspace near Verdun. And basically, commander's going out. The lead ace is going out. We're going out. All right. Taking map. At five kilometers, uh, we may not even make it to five kilometers. Who knows? We'll see. Power selection. Ooh. We get the D8. Oh, we're the only one with a D8. All right, then. Well, I will break things off here and I'll bring you back in Rise of Flight. So I'll see you then. All right, welcome back. We are. As normal, getting the engine started up. I've chosen the J G five Jakarto skin. It's basically the one with the uh, blue striped uh, canopy, or rather, top wing. And I have, of course, being me, forgotten to uh, check the um, the options for the uh, modifications, and so we don't have a gun sight again. Hopefully, though, it won't uh, be too much of a problem. If there goes lead, and number two, or three, they'll wait for them to go off. Compass, got rudder pedals, an altimeter, and that's it. The gas gauge is back there. Actually, no, that's the RPM gauge. That's a rather silly place to put it. It's gonna be hard to uh, look at that. Although I guess if you just glance down and you try not to over go above uh, certain RPMs, it's fine. Um, okay, it, it, it could be better, I think. But it also could be much, much worse. So I will, of course, break things off here and I'll bring you back once we encounter the enemy. So I will see you then. Alright, welcome back. We're about to have uh, first contact with the enemy since we've broken off our course. Then again, we are well below our flight because this thing does not climb as well as the uh, D7s. I'm getting the feeling that it handles better. Uh, some shots in, don't know if they did any serious damage or not. Right, roll underneath him. Wings don't have any serious damage, that's good. Let's roll on the spad that attacked me. And these spads just appear to be flying in formation. That A hit, I think. But I think I was high. Uh, I hit his engine. That's fairly good. Alright, gotta roll left a little. Wasting a little bit of ammunition, but... Still got plenty. There goes his wing. That's one spad down. And here's the rest of them. They're wanting blood. Yeah, they want blood. Oh, and Fight Lee's behind them. They must have shot one down, because they're only seeing two instead of the three that there was. So good job to, I'm guessing, Fight Lead. 
I don't think we have any major damage. Oh, he's just presenting. And he's no longer presenting. I want to take the high guy first before I take the low guy. And I've lost him. Except for the uh, marker, but I can't actually see the spad. Oh, there he is. Oh, there goes the engine. I had that throttle all the way back. Oh well, only one today. Probably should have known better than to come diving through that cloud, but... Oh well. Now time to go fall three kilometers. Didn't even make the, to the uh, five kilometers that we were supposed to. So I'll break things here. And I'll bring you back when it's time for the landing. Or if any of these spats decide that they they want to gun at me. So I'll see you then. Alright, welcome back. We're just getting ready to land at this uh, quite convenient airfield. And uh, first spot's on flying the D8 in a little bit. Because that's been a little bit since I last flew it. It has good roll response, which I like. And she seems to be stable in low speed conditions, although I haven't put her into too many just yet. And things that I don't like is the how twitchy her elevators are. Especially because I'm pushing it, we'll look back, I'm pushing it, pushing it, and then it just dives. That's the one thing I don't like is how twitchy her elevators can be, and that applies to both downward and upward movements of the elevator. In the earlier ones, they're also a little bit twitchy, but not nearly to the same extent as the elevator is. Other than that, she's not too bad of an aircraft to fly. Though her engine doesn't seem to be that resilient to damage, considering we got a oil splatter and then it shut down. So, just some thoughts, but overall, I think I think she's a good aircraft. I think it's just a case of that flight. We were the only one fly, only one of it, only one of our flight flying the D8, so we were left hopelessly behind the uh, D7s. I think we're gonna be good. I think she, I think she performed better in a flight of pure D8s than in a flight of than in a mixed flight, um, as long as she's not the only one in the mixed flight. Because when she's in a mixed flight, she can get caught out alone, especially if you've got a massive climb to do, like that one. We were like a full kilometer below the rest of the flight when that engagement started. So we were basically the only focus of the uh, British aircraft that we're attacking. But, oh, I managed to damage the tail because that's now at a different angle. We're crinkled. But I will break things off here, and I'll see you back in Pat Wilson's. So I'll see you then. Alright, welcome back to Pat Wilson's. Let's uh, follow that combat report. Claims. Single. Not a big et. A spad. Report. Start the debrief. Uh, yep. Damage. Damage. Alright. Let's read it. Yeah, we got the spad 13. We were damaged, we're damaged. D8 was brought down by him. Oh, so he did enough damage that we were counted as killed. Maybe he slightly damaged the engine. That might explain that. And then he got a spad. That would be the one that we saw. Um, wreck a bone. I think that, that might have been slightly, possibly. Don't know. He was brought down by... Him. And then he was shot down by that was the collider shot each other shot, shot each other down. I swear I can speak.
So we got one. And we claim one. And yeah, that was flight lead. Yeah, he got one. He got two, actually. And then a swap of camel was shut down. By Vincent Wirt. Find a D7F. Good job to him. Shut down a camel. And Commander yeah, was killed in action. Has been killed in action. We received the Iron Cross First Class. He received the Wound Badge Black. And Field Level Nicholas Tash has gotten the Iron Cross Second Class. Well, good job. Medals all around. Well, not quite all around, but to those guys. And now Commander Greg Steinster is uh, in charge of the squadron. With one victory to his name. So he's he's got some experience, but he's not fresh off the block. Um, That was short, so let's do another one. Action. What do you have us for us today? Oh, mighty random mission generator. Oh, patrol airspace. Demand flight. All right. At five kilometers again. Flying D7Fs. Right, well, I'll break things off here. I'll bring you back for the takeoff, so I'll see you then. Alright, welcome back. We're just waiting for a uh, flight lead to get his engines up and running. Once again in the D7F. A better climber than the D8, but uh, not sure about everything else. Although it does have a better gauge position for the tachometer than the uh, D8s. I don't know why they put it down at your feet. You're not going to see anything with it down there. There we go. And we're up and away. So I will break things off here. I just. I made some changes to my track IR settings to try and minimize the whole camera going crazy, so I'm just. Trying to get used to where I have to position myself in order to make that work. But I will break things off here, and I'll bring you back once we encounter the enemy. So I will see you then. Well, welcome back. Uh, it looks like we're going to have a busy day, considering we've basically just been jumped by a flight of spads. Didn't even get to our height. Nowhere near. Uh, he's not engaging, looks like, so let's turn in. And try and keep him off the uh, group commander. Don't want to have another one die. That would uh, just be setting a bad tone for the squadron, having another group commander die. Alright, aim, nope. Almost. Some shots there, but... Don't think they were very effective. I think those were just off as well. There we go. Damned. Oh, there he went. Missed him for a second there. Call him up. And stick with him. Here goes the second one. No shot at us, though. He's still gunning for fight lead. Oh, 
thought he was going to pull up more, but he didn't. Of course, now he pulls up. Got a hit there. Nothing major, though. Another hit there. Oh, got his engine. So that's good. He's still shooting at flight lead, though. Roll with him. Pull it out. There's a spat incoming. Gotta watch him. I think flight lead's gone. Uh, he's down the deck. I think his engine's in trouble. There goes his wings. That's one spat down. Yeah, he might be in trouble. Focus on the one that was actually actively firing at us. Stop flying upside down. Oh. Nope, you're going this way. Pick up your mind where you're going. Oh, don't try and roll here. That's not going to end well for you. Don't, don't, seriously, don't try and do a split S here. It's not going to help you. No, that was high. I think those might have been a little bit high as well. Those weren't high. Neither was that burst. That was low. Trying to go for his wing. More shots in. Ah. Dipped it right at the wrong moment. There goes his aileron. Yeah, he's going in. It's two. Alright then, Mr. Spad. Let's dance. Are you feeling lucky, punk? And there goes his wings. That was actually a good burst. Well then. White lead has gone. Don't know where. And I don't have any... There's a navigational waypoint. So I will break things off here. We'll Yeah, we'll continue to patrol. We might not encounter anything else. So we'll keep going.
So I will see you when we encounter something else. So I'll see you then. Alright, welcome back. We are just getting ready to land at the airfield, which is right there. Uh, no further contacts were detected, but Flight Lead also did not show up. So it appears that the Yasta has a curse where the uh, commander is always going to die on his uh, first mission up, considering the game always decides to put him up. So, uh, good luck to whoever the new, the, uh, new uh, group commander is going to be, and hopefully you won't uh, fall, be followed the same fate as that of the other group commanders, which is to die on your first mission. Let's bring her in here. Probably going a little bit fast, but should be fine. Not going any uh, very steep angles, and I'll be going super slow, so it should be a nice fine landing. Oh, a little bit of a bounce, but that's a couple of times. Let's shut off the engine. And there we go. We're down. Nice and safely. Still got some ammunition left. But uh, I will, of course, break things off here. And I'll see you back in Pat Wilson's. So I'll see you then. Alright, welcome back to Pat Wilson's. Let's follow the combat report. Flames. Three victories. All SPAD 13s. So far I haven't seen anything else, but then again... If the SPAD 13 is the best fighter you got, why field anything else? Put the debrief. Then we came back. And landed. Alright, so. Ah, they crashed into each other. And he managed to survive. Well done. Well done. You didn't, however. And then we shot down Harold Simpson. He was killed in action. Killed in action. And killed in action. So they weren't, the spaz weren't nearly as lucky as our uh, fight lead was. So it looks like he may not have a curse. It may just be uh, extremely unlucky if you get that position. Let's see, yep. That should just be our victories. Yep, R3, next page. We've been awarded the War Merit Medal. And Vernitz Wartz has been awarded the Iron Cross second class. So, good job to you. Finished. There we are. We're now up to 10 kills in four flights, so doing quite well. But we're the second 10 kill pilot in the squadron, and then we're 15 behind... Eric Nickel, who hasn't gotten any, any more kills yet, so uh, we'll see. I'd like to uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.